Hello everyone, welcome to my highlight video from Saldus XCO race. And here we see marathon champion of Latvia, Oskar Smujnieks. Here I am trying to get better position for the upcoming downhill section, which I managed to do pretty good. And here is the first big climb, Zirnau Kapums as we call it. And as I start to struggle here at the pace, my young teammate Gustavs goes on to pass a few of us. Smart move by him. Here I'm trying to enjoy one of the flat places in the track. And here in the beginning I'm pretty far away from them, I thought I would lose them, but when they have to enter the single trail they slow down and I am right behind them. This is the start of a pretty nice downhill section. I guess not everyone likes to jump. To not fall back I was forced to overtake the rider on the right, but uh, later he wanted his position back so I let him pass me. And here we are approaching one of the juiciest parts of the track, as we like to call it, horsepower. Very nice speed boost from the jump.
this here is a long and hard climb and uh, they are going way faster so I'm not even trying to go after them, I just set my pace. After only a couple seconds in the next downhill, I don't see them in front of me. Note that uh, when you don't see the handlebars in the video, it means I am standing and uh, leaning in front of my bike because uh, it's a steep uphill. Small drop here to not allow you to sit on the bike. Followed by two nice berms. And I finally see the front group. Turns out I managed to catch up on them a little bit. Coming up, the favorite place of mine on this track. Full with awesome spectators. Thank you guys. Here you can see me almost crashing into the rails and also hear my braking sound. At this point I'm determined to catch them, but if you take a look at my heart rate it's not the best thing to try to do. After looking behind me, I didn't see anyone and I have 6th position at the moment, so I thought I don't have to follow the guys in front of me, I just have to hold my pace. Also, it looks like they're fighting for the positions, so I'm no match for them at this moment. After seconds of suffering, I reached the top and here comes another juicy part of the track. This place is so steep that if you go few centimeters to the right you are basically falling down or you have to put the foot on the ground. Last climb in the first lap and uh, soon I will start to hear the microphone from the start and finish so I'm trying to keep my pace a bit up so maybe I still have a chance to keep up on them. And the final downhill in this lap and Going pretty fast here. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Yep, my back slipped out, mouth full with sand, and also dropped chain.
also while I was fixing my chain I got overtaken and now my position is secure. And after the climb that is in the start of the, each new lap we are going to the place we haven't ridden before, also the point where the track is crossing. I managed not to lose any more positions, but I know that both of my teammates, Tuoms and Aris, are very close to me and they will do everything they have to overtake me. And a brief conversation in Latvian. He's asking me, where did I fall? Keeping my distance so I don't have to unnecessary break. And again into the flat section, but uh, as I know the guy in front of me, I'm trying to overtake him before the downhill because I think I'm faster than him so I don't have to break. Really nice and flowy part if nobody is in front of you. As if one fall wasn't enough, I barely managed to not hit the tree. And into this point of the track, I'm able to see behind me very easily, and there are three guys. Two of my teammates and one rider, Matis, from Tulsa, right behind me. Back to the one of the hardest places to not put your foot down and also with the amazing spectators. Yanka making some jokes with the stick. The photographer, Ivar Sausters, going for the perfect picture. Unlucky attempt to pick up the glass with water, wanted to save the drink in my bottle. After doing the work on the straight pavement, the rider from Talsi has overtaken me. And also my teammate Aris doesn't hold back and goes in front of me. 
thankfully my teammate is not letting the other driver to get away so easily and doing some hard work. At this moment I'm not feeling so good and I decide to pace myself because the upcoming uphill is pretty hard one. Three minutes later, I have given them a gap, but I am not giving up. I can barely see somebody in front of me, but I'm trying to make a recovery so I can push later. My girlfriend, after seeing me trying to pick up the water and failing it, of course, is right there at the next place where she can, handing out the water to me. Casual guy with a backpack in the red <laughs> distance, nothing unusual here. Very helpful cheering from Janka here, thank you man. At this point the guys have cheered me up so hard that uh, to put my energy somewhere I shout let's go! Also, the lovely volunteers saw that I didn't pick up the water last time, so there are three people handing the water to me. Finally, after riding almost whole lap alone, I see my teammates in front of me, and it is my mission to catch them now. At this point I am able to up my pace and uh, get a better flow in the track. Every time crossing the lapping point I'm thinking to myself, don't fall again. I have managed to close the gap and in this short climb I can see both of my teammates so that is giving me more energy to push closer to them. Only a couple seconds later I am able to pass my teammate Aris and he is giving his farewell by saying let's go man. But I am not done, I really want to catch the other teammate. I see him right in front of me, so all I have to do is push. The next time I can see him, the gap is the same, so I'm just uh, waiting for a more technical place so I can catch up to him. Five minutes later, in the part of horsepower, I have closed the gap and I am right behind him. Like a real teammate, he's offering me to go past him to which I reply only if I could. Yeah, I saw that. My goal here is to sit behind him all the way until the final climb and try to finish in front of him. So 
so far my plan is working good and also I'm very happy for myself that I managed to ride up this part all four laps. Of course the best spectators in the whole track. And this time even more aggressive let's go shout from me. At this point, as we are both locals, we know the track very good and we are taking this time to recover because there is one last uphill which will determine the end of the race. Before even I start to sprint, my teammate is already up and going for it to try and not let me get him. Just as I am about to pass him, I have some problems with my derailleur and it keeps slipping the chain. So I have wasted a lot of energy and I try to follow him from behind, but it is unsuccessful. Here I decide to save my energy so I don't have to push up any of the hills and I am ready to take my place as ninth. At this point I am so exhausted that it is hard to steer straight and I manage to hit the little trees and I have to stop. I'm dead. While I'm overtaking the guy who I'm lapping, I realized I can push him off the edge, so I try a different route, which is successful. Nothing changes in the last meters and I finish as 9. Thank you for watching and if you enjoy let me know. Goodbye.